Ladies, what can we expect out of Dawn's basketball this season? And Abby, why don't we start with you? Uh, I think you can expect how we left off the season last year with, even though we had six people playing on the court, we finished, uh, I thought we finished as strong as we could. And we're going to bring that same competitiveness and drive and toughness and grit. Being ranked number 10 uh, really hit, hit home for us, um, especially me and Abby, just as competitors. Um, I just expect everybody to come out with, with everything that they've got coming out strong. Um, I know that me and Abby stand 10 toes behind Coach Molly and uh, whatever it takes to get a winning season, I know that we're very capable of it, especially with our returning players this year. Layla, with a breakout year, when you look at your accolades and your stats from the past, is there any one particular area that you have the most pride in? Uh, probably rebounding, being um, officially probably 5'8 in the post player with these big girls. Um, it's it's nothing to joke with, I mean, but at the end of the day, I just know that I have to have a lot of, a lot of heart and um, just believe in my teammates that no matter what kind of shot they take, it, it, I'm, I'm, so, I'm still going to be there. I let them know all the time, take the shot. I don't care if you're not confident enough, take the shot. Let me go get the rebound. Let me pass it back out. Let's get the offense going again. And um, that's just something that I've always had pride in. I don't think that that's ever going to stop, especially not this year. As an undersized post player, she does play with a chip on her shoulder all the time, which is, you know, she uses that emotion from, you know, being smaller and having people think they're going to be able to take advantage of her size. She uses that as fuel to be really, really effective in the post for her size and for any size. I mean, she averaged almost a double-double last year uh, with rebounds. And, you know, I think she's just going to continue to get better and better. And what areas of growth are you looking for in Abby? What are you most anticipating out of her production this year? You know, I think Abby, as I've said many times, Abby's probably the hardest working player I've ever coached, just consistently day in, day out from the very first day she came to USF. And, and obviously before that, she's, you know, she's always ready to compete. She's always given her best effort. Um, and that's something, you know, when you have players that are willing to do that without having to, you know, ask them to do it and motivate them to do it every day, that's really makes your job as a coach a lot easier. Um, I think Abby over the last two years has gained tremendous confidence. Um, you know, as a, as a freshman, we, she had to come in and she's, she's played a lot the last two years. She's played in positions that she isn't a natural at. We put her at, we put her at a one, we put her at a two, we put her at a, you know, a five player. We played her everywhere on the court when in high school, she was used to playing more of a, a post position. So, you know, I think, she knows how much confidence we have in her because we know how hard she's going to work out on the floor. And I think she's really worked to develop her um, her shooting over the last, especially year and a half and getting more and more confident in the perimeter shot. So Abby just needs to keep doing what she's been doing. And, you know, she's, you know, she's going to be a major contributor for her career. Because you guys faced so much adversity last year, who else can we look forward to seeing getting more minutes or shining? Yeah, well, I mean, we have the core group of four players that, you know, had to play 30 plus minutes every game because just because of our situation last year. So it's uh, Kia Valaverta and, and Lucy Huskova. Um, and these two guys are, you know, they played the bulk of the minutes. I know I have a certain level of familiarity, a comfort level with them, you know, and a trust in what they're going to do because of the adversity they, they went through last year and how mentally and physically tough they were during that. And the best part now is that we have, we have a group back that can complement the things that they do and help give them some rest, help give them um, the ability to expand their games. You know, we have, we have really good players that we've added to the program and we have really good kids that were injured and are now back and healthy. I think it just, um, it takes some of the pressure off of them doing everything. They can go back to playing roles that they're much more comfortable with. And, um, you know, our biggest challenge is how to fit everybody into these new roles now that we do have more players and options to use.